Battlefield. We all know we're going to Battlefield. 100%. Most common. I bet I would not be surprised if all five games were on Battlefield. Oh, without a doubt. That's just a thing. So Slox is very, unlike Scale, Slox is very good at the tech chase. Mm. For some reason or another, he plays like a third of the Sheik as most Sheik mains, but it's very solid at just not letting go of Fox. Horror, that is just painful DI to watch uh, from Swift. Yikes. Holding in as far as possible, and that's a kill. It hurts to watch. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Awesome, great. Uh, so... Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah! oh. God bless our stream master. I hope stream heard that too. <laughs> because that was awful. That was disgusting. That was probably the worst experience of my life. I'm not going to lie. I agree with that. My ears will never be the same again. <laughs> I'll sue for damages in GameCube controllers. We didn't blow out any headsets, though. True. Uh, Is there a streamer? <coughs> so, my bad. I hit the wrong button. For some reason, it's not working. Anyway. Can I please have a tag or... A and if possible, a Twitter, because right now NA is not a very good tag for multiple reasons. Good point. Reasons. Yes. Okay. It's tuba, like the instrument. Okay. And if you don't want the Twitter, that's fine. Okay. I don't even have one. Awesome. Good. Sorry, buddy. Uh, almost ruining your eardrums. Yeah, that was rough. Makes me just... I have no idea why it's doing that, so I apologize in advance. Just so that... <laughs> People Oof, in chat know even. we heard one of the most horrendous noises ever. It, it was rough. But we're back into the match. Indeed. And this is dead even, which always surprises me. I never think Slox is chic is good. <laughs> and I'm honestly, I'm always wrong. Mm. Which I love thinking Slox's characters are bad, but his chic is not one that I can legitimately say is terrible. Oh, definitely not. He's, and he's definitely dead there, though. Dead. He seemed to start off strong this match, but it's just looking like uh, Swift has gotten a few opportunity. Oh, he's super dead, oh. though. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh, or not. Didn't refresh invincibility quickly enough, and he, because of it, he couldn't threaten with the back air. Swift has been so good at punishing off of shines. Both mm. both of his sets. And he put baits out that uh, shield grab and this. Yep. That's it. There's the shine spike that every everyone loves watching Sheik get shine spiked. I'm convinced. I love watching Sheik get shine spiked. I think it's justice. <laughs> well, what do you know? We're back I'm on battlefield. I'm However many games there are, that is how many there will be on Battlefield. Definitely. I will. No doubt about it. Yep. Because Swift doesn't probably wants to play against a Sheik, mm -hmm. and I think that Slox will switch to Marth if Swift does something like go to FD. I'd like to see some Marth. I think it'd be. I wonder if these two have ever Marth dittoed. Super strong for a stock. Yeah, that's that's the classic. Slox is just unnaturally good at tech chasing for no reason. Mm. I think it's a new Sheik thing. Like people who just picked up Sheik, they learn the tech chase. But old Sheik players are just so they just want so badly to just down throw forward tilt, mm -hmm. and that just doesn't work. <laughs> At least not anymore. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh. If you could have gotten him off stage by forward airing a bit earlier, but. Instead, goes to not do that. Mm -hmm. nice. oh, and that's it. Goes for the Omsa tech. 
No such luck. Thank oh. you. I love when foxes do that, or just pe people in general. <laughs> if you're invincible and the other sheik and the sheik is Shino stalling, just just grab the ledge. You'll beat them to the ledge every time, and if you're invincible, you won't get poofed. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. And then he oh. drops down low. Easy stock. Easy, easy stock. Slox is just doing all the a ton of just fade back like fade back short hop aerials. Mm -hmm. Which it's are so too. which are so good against your as cheek I should say. They're magical. Dash tap's really been coming in handy. Liz. Oh that was a very no, that air dodge is never gonna make it. Mm. Come on, Anthony. It's just silly. And that's a s oh. And that could be it. He's still he has to land one more edge guard. Yeah, he turned around. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but. And that is it. Doesn't actually matter in the end, I suppose. <laughs> so we're going into a game three. I bet they just keep going to battlefield. I want Swift to go to FD though. Oh. Ooh, okay. I like this. This is super good for Fox because I think Battlefield doesn't actually benefit him that much in this matchup. <laughs> uh, but with Stadium, it's it's kind of risky because all the transformations are in Fox's favor. But she can be pretty scary in a world where she has a lot of space to just tech chase as well as platforms at a good height to to mix up her movement with. So we'll we'll have to see if Swift can uh, take advantage of the fact that he's just going to be killing at ridiculously low percents. And one more up air at this point will kill any of his up moves. That's and yep. that's a stock. Classic jab up smash. Everyone's least favorite. I hate that combo so much. Same. <laughs> Especially as a Jigglypuff player, I imagine. Just oh, I have nightmares about it at least three <laughs> days a week. Oh. Swift can play this laser game if you I feel like I want Swift to play the laser game. He's such a crazy fast technical fox, but I think lasering up would do some good here. Mm. It's so risky to rush in and end up getting grabbed because Slox is just so good at running through it forever and ever and doing a hundred damage. Oh yep, one grab is pretty mm. much six. Yep. Pit fight, pit fight, pit fight. Oh. Pit fight, um. No, we're still in a pit fight. My advice to all newer players and all older players is always pit fight, especially in friendlies. And we're even again. Oh yeah, he does all the time. It's a recent thing. Mm. <laughs> In the last like six months. No. <laughs> oh. oh, one hit up air. Two up airs. Ah. Oh, that's. I don't. I don't like. No, no. I don't like needles threatening. I don't like diagonal needles threatening horizontal recoveries all that much. Mm. It means you've jumped. It means it's harder to cover the next option. I'd rather just see grounded needles. <laughs> Grab blade. And that's. Uh, that's uh, any of the smashes would have worked. Oh, there's the shield grab. I want to see how much he gets off of this. Yep. If shield grab again, 50%. Uh, that's 50% nope. off one grab, which is quite a lot. Not as much as he would have liked. Oh, not as much as he would have liked, but certainly. Go hit him. Yeah. And that's, that's not going to kill just yet, though. Nope. Didn't manage to land on the ledge with that up. He was at a kind of weird angle. And. Misses the ledge. 
Barely. Those horizontal Firefoxes are harder than they should very, be. Very, very tough. It's, it's something that you see even, <laughs> even good Fox players messing up. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't feel bad when I do it. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. going back. Swift thinks this is his best chance. Mm -hmm. It was either going to be this or FD for this particular matchup. So this doesn't surprise me too, too much. Yep, there's a the grab at zero, and let's see where this goes. I, li I like the robot. I like the double no tech. Most people don't tech. Most people don't choose not to tech twice in a row because <laughs> it's it's very scary to do it. Mm. Very easy to get jab reset, and then everything is horrible. Oh yes. It right, looks like one more good hit should be a kill for Swift because he's going to be fishing for backers like crazy here. And that. Yep. Yep. Doesn't even have to be a good hit apparently. No. <laughs> So I gotta ask, are you going to shine? Yes. You are? Uh-huh. Is that gonna be your first like big out of state tournament? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt? Yes. <laughs> very, very nervous. Nervous? Yes. What what makes you nervous about going to a big tournament? Because everyone there will have been playing for five more years than me. That's at no. the least. No, that you may think that. I guarantee you, you will find somebody there that's worse than you. Okay. I promise you that. Because <laughs> everybody thinks their first big tournament, everybody's amazing. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah. not true at all. Same thing. My first tournament was uh, CEO. Yep. Yep. Yikes. Up there uh, with one week of melee knowledge. <laughs> that was great. That was great. One week. One week. Yeah, no. E <sighs> everybody has this idea that if you go to a big tournament, everyone there is fantastic. But yeah. there's, I mean, if... You know, you figure if 800 people show up, all 800 of them will not be good. There will be people who go to and out in pools. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Hopefully I'll just get paired with one of the bad people. <laughs> <laughs> even, it's even fun as... Oh, he steals the ledge again. I love that Swift does that. Even as a bad person, it's there are always a lot of fun. This yeah. is, I'm going to sound like a total shill for Big Blue Esports. <laughs> but they're always super good at having a ton of setups for their tournaments, and I mm -hmm. don't see Shine being any different. Mm. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. And since a lot of people I know here are going to go, I doubt it'll be unnerving to be there. It's a little worried that I'll get paired with a god in pool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think that's something to look forward to. True. I mean, if you get to play somebody who's so crazy good, I'd be shooting for a god. Play some pop dittos with hungry bucks. <laughs> My life goal right now is to beat Mango and tell him if he loses to me, then he has to shave his beard. Oh, you don't like the Mango beard? Oh, no. I actually kind of agree. It's pretty awful. Thank you. But I, I, <laughs> I feel like it's not okay to say that, though, is the problem. Nope. Right, I like want to be the one who shaved Mango. The one. So do you get to shave the beard? Or do you just cause him, like, if you beat him... Do you have to be like, I'm going to shave your beard if you lose? Oh, no, he has or to do he, it on he stream. Okay. Because you said I want to be the one that shaves Mango's beard. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay, not sure. I want to be the causation okay. of his shaving. Okay. <laughs> Although that would be a pretty entertaining thing to watch. Exactly. Right, just, just Mango loses in, like, winter semis, and then you're just sitting there on stage shaving him for 15 minutes in between matches. Hmm. Because, like, Hungrybox has his, he'll sit on stage and just, like, look disappointed oh, if he yes. loses for God knows how long. <laughs> for Mango, he just sits there getting shaved. <laughs> uh, speaking of Hungrybox. Shaving? I was super disappointed at how poorly he did. Oh, I was thrilled. I was, oh, my gosh. I but even Satter was Wizrobe. I was rooting so hard for him to win. I was so <sighs> happy. This was the first top four in a long time that was worth watching every single match. You think so? I do. No. I don't blame Hungrybox. I, so I don't blame Hungrybox for making tournament uh, finals uninteresting because he plays like a super aggressive. He plays super aggressively recently, and everybody feels like they're forced to play really defensively. Mm. So it was nice to see a scenario where there was nobody that felt like they had to camp somebody out for five matches. That's true. And I think that was really exciting to watch, especially even more so because. Watching Wizzerobe succeed finally was... Oh, that was amazing. Even though he had a nail-biter against Mango, mm -hmm. he still... He played so well at that tournament. It was incredible. It was so fun to watch. 
it was amazing to watch. Even how much fun T and Mewtwo King were having in their matches, it was really enjoyable to actually see Mewtwo King smile. For as, as a huge Mewtwo King fanboy, watching him have any level of success, especially after the nonsense that he went through oh, earlier, yes. he's doing so much better than I expected to, because I expected to see a sad Mewtwo King for like six weeks, drop out of Evo, yep. but he, he's been playing phenomenally. Super happy to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping for big things from Wizrobe at, uh, at Evo. I really, I, I really want to see the rise of Falcon. Because <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a national uh, in, since... I didn't play when Hacks was big. Uh -huh. Hacks being huge was, was during the time when I quit. Mm -hmm. But... So I, I would love to see a Falcon, even if it's a so-called lame Falcon. I think Wizrobe is incredibly fun to watch. Definitely. And I mean, I feel like in in top competitive play at this point, there's a certain way you have to play Falcon to succeed. And I don't know. So I don't really care if people think it's lame or not, like as long as Falcon's there. Right. Yeah. Even, even a lame Falcon ends oh. up doing cool stuff occasionally. Exactly. Like sometimes his, op his best option just looks cool. Exactly. I mean, even when Wizrobe was just kind of standing on a platform and just jumping up and down for 10 seconds, <laughs> it was still amusing to watch because mm -hmm. it's still Falcon. It was like he was playing Smash. He was playing that match as if it was Smash 64, and mm -hmm. I think that's so cool. <laughs> my only complaint about Wizzy is that it takes 10 minutes to start. Oh everything. yeah, no, that. Oh my God, I can't stand that. His yeah. whole setup is exhausting. Oh my god. Because he's got like noise canceling headphones and this and that. Mm -hmm. And it's just. Gotta clean his glasses. So I don't want any of that. Just sit down and play the damn game. Yeah. Meanwhile, this set is super close. Oh, this is definitely. last stock. I didn't expect to see a game on Yoshi's. Same. But here we are. And Slock's just kind of running. Not running away, but he's definitely in, a, in the spot where he's not disappointed to be where he is. Oh, that's Death, that's and that's going to be the set. That's 3-2 for Slocks. His Sheik being a beast. Ugh. Watching any match on Yoshi's is just so tense. It's scary. 